Oh, uh, oh, oh, crap, my fluke. No, oh, no, it's not too bad. That's not too good. I'm in Bassin, and I'm gonna do a review today on my kayak. So, starting up front, I have a thing to tie the docks with if we're gonna stop somewhere. Then I have my my bag right here of all soft plastics I have. Check a lot of them there. You have a nice little carabiner clip there too. Yep, so I can hook to the rope when I uh, I fall on. I still have it. It's all this black stuff you see is silent traction. So, I don't know if you're going to hear that, but it makes it quieter, more stealthy. Especially right here, where you set your paddle and your fishing. I have my anchor. Nice anchor. I think it's a three pounder. Gets me stopped in the sand, I guess. I'll come out and do the job. My foot pedals. Where it's it. Water bottle holder. Some more storage in here. So you can put your phone, any anything you don't want to get wet. Um, here I got my paddle leash. Lose on my paddle. Just in case I lose it. Got a new paddle as well. Nice. This is where you set like your more storage little units, I guess. You set your uh, clamp. Here's my uh, PFD. Scissors. Like that. Make sure you always wear a PFD. Camo is best. Camo. Um, you know, here. This is my anchor trolley system. So if it's really windy, I can move it back and forth depending on how I want to be positioned in the water. Mm -hmm. In the back, I made my own net holder out of PVC pipe. Just drill it in. Just reach back once you get the big one. Two grenade launcher Scotty rod holders. Really good. Um, you want to pulls. Okay, these are my rod leases I have. One of my good friends made this for me. Uh, it clips on here. So I'm in transit. If I tip over, don't lose my rods. Good to have. Finally, this is my tackle box. I keep all my gear. There are all sorts of stuff in here. Just keep small, Plano boxes. small colored Plano boxes. Works great. The small color is really nice too, because that kind of uh, dilutes the light. So uh, yeah. melt plastics is. Did you see a sound traction more back here? Got a little sound traction. That's my kayak fishing review for Emin Bassin. All right, one thing I do that's actually really nice to kayak. I have a backpack of stuff. Uh, I always like to say I bring the most of the least that I can bring. I want to be prepared, but I don't want to be crowded. On the side, I have stuff as true extent spray. Got some sinkers. Got scissors and pliers on this side. So right here, I have quick bags of beaver style baits, creatures, trailers, stuff like that. In this bag, I have minnows, flukes, stuff like that. Just because I need to get something real quick. I have the most of these two kind of groups of soft plastic, so I just keep them right in there. I use those the most. In this, I have smaller scanner mountain boxes, hooks, uh, bullet weights, terminal tackle like that, the shake heads. Anything really. This little box. I have just a few swim jigs. Swim jigs. 
jigs, swim jigs, flipping jigs, anything like that. I have a few trailers on them right now. So I need a mess for later. This little box, I have top water, just frogs, poppers, uh, stuff like that. Here I have just a small selection of just a kind of a wide variety of crankbaits. Nothing too special. Just got a uh, spook, some husky jerks, floating wraps, scatter wraps, some deep divers, rattle traps, stuff like that. And here I have the rest of my plastic that I bring out for bass fishing. Got a little messy, but here I generally have kind of the extras, lizards, stuff like that. Here I have some uh, paddle tails and some uh, big worms. Here I have more of the stick baits. And here I have tubes. And uh, I really recommend having a backpack. It's really nice, simple. There's a lot of compartments and stuff that you can store tackle in. Yeah, I usually just have it right in my lap. From my lap like this, you've probably seen it a lot. So I can just quick get to something. Sometimes I have it back here, but Cody's kayak, he just has that little thing. So that's that.